Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 5 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we started uh, creating the kitchen. Here, we're going to continue working on this. Um, so we created the base and the top cabinet, even the, the case for the fridge right here. So now, uh, like I said on the previous video, we're going to start adding the island. So here we're going to go to architecture and then model in place again and look for generic model. After that, we're just going to simply add in the base of the uh, counter, uh, sorry, the island. So here we're just going to add a simpler, simple, uh, island extrusion and then we're just going to change this one to a different wood or we could just use the same one for the rest but let's just change this for now i'm just going to use this And then I'm just going to estimate depending on the area right here. I could do, just do 1400 by 2600. So let's do that. 1400 by 2600. I think that's good enough space for the island right here um, actually for this one we might just do it 1300 the reason for that is we're going to add in some chairs here so i think that's good enough space and then here we just need to go there so we have enough space on this side for chairs and then an island right here and then now um, what we're going to do is we're just going to click finish and then we're going to make this one 900 click apply and then click finish after that we're going to create a top for this so we shouldn't just finish that so i'm just going to edit i'm just going to create a top right here and then we could use the same one so i forgot what we use for the, the other stone but let me double check that i think we use granite so you could just type in granite and then use this and then we're just going to add it at the top right here and then 925 let's double check how we did so we did it correctly now we could click on the bottom and move it somewhat like that with an overhang. So the reason for that, because for the leg room. So that's good. That's the reason why I did that. And then now we just need to add in the kick plate on this side or maybe around this so that it's, it looks uh, much better so now we need to go to create and do the void sweep again pick path let's use this and then just select the edges like that so this is where the point will be so now we can need click finish go back here click edit profile and click rectangle once we do that we need to do the 800, 80 
by 100. So this is 100 and then this is 80. So I did it perfectly. Amazing. So now click finish and then click finish. After that, you just need to click cut and then now it will be shown like that. Click finish again and it looks proper. Now we could just add in chairs right here later on. But still we haven't finished the cabinets right here. So what I wanted to do is I want to do a different way. Because before what we do is we could just add it right here. So we could add it onto the section and then put it on the face. I think that's the best way, but it's very slow. So I wanted to try adding or creating a face. So now I want to double click on section and I want to measure the height from here all the way right here is 800 here up to here it's 1136 and we're going to give some gap and everything like that and before the gap actually we're going to add in something at the top here so before this let's add in a de decorative um, piece at the top um, I'm thinking if we could just add add it at the top right here like a sweep yeah we could add in as a sweep but using this so let's try this one so generic model we're gonna do a sweep I think sweep is actually much harder what we could do is just create an extrusion and at least we see everything here I'm just gonna add it like that around 650 this will be going at the top so we need to move this I made I made it too much so I'm just gonna align this to the wall so let's do this first and then all the way right here or up to right here I want it to be over so maybe 900 is the best so 900 900 now trim and extend trim and extend right here okay so that looks good i just want to change this to a different material let's use one of the plaster okay click finish look at it at 3d pull it up 
I just want to align it at the, all the way to the top. And then pull it like that. And then in this way, we could add in some strip lights all the way around. Or what we could do is we could design it whatever we want. We could put pot light as well. So it's just a decorative pieces for the kitchen. Click finish. And then now we just need to drop this one like that. So by dropping that, now we could just use a line again and we could click here and then right there. Now everything will be good. Um, you can also do it in section, but yeah. I made everybody's life uh, harder. So you could just do it on section and you will be able to see everything. So now, the only thing that I don't like is... So it's still good actually, but I just want to double check in, the, in 3D that this one is still over. I just want it to be in the same face as this. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to move this one a bit out. And also the reason for that is you need some room at the back anyway for all the piping, especially for the new fridge. So that looks good. So everything is lining up correctly and what we want to. So we don't need this. So now let's double click here and start adding. Um, as you can see, this is the end point for that. This is where the um, changes will, the edge. So now we just need to create here and right here as well. So now Let's add in some model in place, generic model, and extrusion. Pick a plane. This plane is different on this plane, so one at a time. So if you choose this, you will need to choose this face. Okay, now you just need to do this. Uh, what I usually do is put 10 offset and then click right there as you can see you're outside of the offset to go to the inside you need to press spacebar now you're in the inside and then click right here and then now we just need to add cabinet trees and we need to section them off click on the middle So your offset is still on. So for this, we need to have zero here and then at least 10 or 15 for this. And then our gap here is 10, 15 for the extrusion. So that's good. Um, and then now we need to change the material material for this would be you could use acrylic acrylic clear let's use this and then now we need to have we need to get the midpoint first and then offset five on each side. Zoom it and zoom it there and then delete the ones in the middle. So you have the center point of everything. And from this point, we just need to copy and then for me, I 
we don't have an, enough time so I'm just gonna estimate I think that's good enough and then SL split element So this is the time consuming part. And then now TR. Okay, so now click finish. And if you check, it will look like that. Now we just need to do it on each side. So we still have a lot of sides right here. So that's that will be the ones that we're going to do. And then here as well. Now we're going to do pick a plane and do it on this side. As you can see, I created another extrusion. So you need to click the finish first for this and then create another one for this because it, it is in a different um, face and different depth. So now we, we need to do it all over again. 10 spacebar to go to inner and then luckily we have the dimension right here or we have something that we could copy now so here I'm just going to use a line I'm going to align it right here and then align it right here. Then I could just copy so here I'm going to copy and then let's copy it from here. Oops. There we go. And then now SL. Now TR. Okay, and then I want to change the material for below. So we have a clear, clear at the top, and then now for below, we could just use a different one. Let's use acrylic for below. Click finish. So now we finish on this side and it's in a different. And then here, what we do is we could click on this face and then we move this face a bit. So now it would look like we have some cabinets and then some gaps there. Now, what I usually do is we could just click this one and move this, turn it around, and then just move it 
like that so that we can do this side and then we just need to create one on this side as well so we could just maneuver everything so here a view like that and then now this is a section view number two we will have section number two right here as well you can click it here or you can click it right there and then if you want to go on this side you can just click it as well right here so it's very easy to click now now let's do it again on this side generic model now it's just gonna be another extrusion pick a plane let's use this one now because acrylic is still usable for this we don't need to change material click it again this will be 10 offset and then we need to get the end there that's the issue we have for the corners now that's fine we could just work on those we could just move it a bit on this side now we're just gonna give it a little bit of nudge and then we just need to get the midpoint so now that we have the midpoint okay so we just need to click this one as an offset of five delete the ones there select it and now we could just estimate let's go copy there we go now we could just move this one a bit in the middle like that we can mirror this so that we could just do a split SL we could use this we don't need to be in that midpoint we just need to have an end so even though we do that we could just click here and join and then click here to join Let's do an unjoin there.
and then we could just add this one at the top so it's actually more work if we don't do it properly that's fine so I need to show which one is so here we have some overlapping that we didn't finish so now let's do the one at the top big fat and we need to click tab and then click here now we're gonna do the same acrylic clear for the ones at the top click here type in 10 offset and then let's offset this and then spacebar it's better if we align them so that's good and then now we just need to have to align them like that so AL AL and then AL right here now we could use that and then copy so there we go now split element there we go So now TR and then now we just need to trim and extend. Okay, so now we just need to click finish. So I'm happy with that. Now let's go on this side. And then here we just need to do the same thing. Let's start at the top. Model in place. Generic model and then another extrusion pick a plane and then click this plane by using tab click here let's use at the top first for, because a very clear that we set out and then now we need to select this after that remove the offset we need to get the midpoint so this one should be zero and then now we just need to get the midpoint right there and then here offset to five five is the gap that we want to have and then let's just delete this 
now we just need to create a copy and estimate this And then we just need to move it in the middle like that and then select all of this and then mirror it to the midpoint and then SL all of the gaps Okay, so now TR, trim and extend. Okay, so now click finish and then let's do the other, the one at below. Select that and then change this to acrylic only and then do the same thing. Offset 10 inside and then put some gap here for the others and then here we just need to have the midpoint AL align it from here and the other side as well select this and then copy and then we could just add it like that. And then SL to split element. Okay, so now TR, trim and extend. Okay, so click finish and then finish again. And then let's look at it like that. So we finished adding the cabinet, um, but we're still not that done. We still have to do something else, like adding the, the chairs and everything like that. So let's do that on the next video. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.